Can Bellis keep your online privacy safe? Well, let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. So today I'm going to review a project called Bellis. We're going to see how to actually mine the project. And also I'm going to pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Now let's get into it. All right, so as you guys know, I do a lot of speculative coin mining. I'm always on the hunt for the latest and greatest coin, and I found one here recently. Even though it's not a new project, it's been around for a little over a year now, but it looks like a pretty solid project, so I thought I would actually go ahead and do a review on it. And of course, that project is Velus. So let's dive in and check out what Velus is all about. So here we are on the Bitcoin talk. As usual, don't worry about trying to find any of this information. All of it will be down below this video for your mining and review convenience. So real quick on the Bitcoin talk, just scroll down here. Something I thought was really good. Coin supply, 2.5 million. That's a really low coin supply, which means it's got a really good possibility of going up in the future quite a bit. Of course, we never know these kind of things. But with a coin supply that low, odds are in its favor. So 2.5 million coin supply. It is a multi-algorithmic project. Lyra 2Z, X11, X16R, SHA-256D, Script, and NIST-5. So six different algorithms can be used to mine this project. And X16R is what I'm using. Yes, all of these are ASIC and FPGA type of algorithms, especially the X16R now. But there's not a lot of people on the X16R network right now, so you can make a decent amount of Velus mining it. Let's head over to the actual website right now. Here we are, Velus Network. Couple things. I'm going to be brief. I'm not going to try and bore you guys with this. So, latest news pre alpha, Velus is live. Start using DVPN now. We will look into that in a second. Velus Core is an open source software project that aims to help people of the internet retain their freedom of access to and information and to improve privacy and the communications over the internet by building services such as a decentralized VPN with multi-hop support. Our innovative network, learning from the common problems that have emerged since the blockchain technology became widespread. We've addressed those issues by solutions such as independent multi-algo proof of work, which I just discussed a second ago, and other approaches against 51% attacks, instamine protection, deadlock protection, flexible block spacing, etc. And scroll down a little bit more. Open governments, I really like this one. Last but not least, our most important goals is to give away full control of the project development and management into the hands of the decentralized organization controlled fairly by all in the network who are actually contributing to the network. Already, now everyone is able to participate on the Bellis core development and we listen closely to what the community says and their feedback. And continuing, went over this earlier on the actual Bitcoin talk, currently supported script, Lara 2Z, etc., etc. So you can mine it with six different algorithms. And of course, X16R is what we're going to be looking into today. And the DVPN is going to be right here. Pre-alpha DVPN. Start using DVPN now. The pre-public alpha testing has started and there are first master nodes with full DVPN support already up and running. Everyone can join the testing phase and use DVPN service for free or run his own DVPN enabled Velus Masternode. Benchmark data gathered from this public testing will help us to improve Velus DVPN for future launch and production. So you can actually download their VPN and start using it right now if you'd like. Again, links to this will be down below, so don't worry about trying to find any of this info. I'm not going to get into how to use the VPN. You can just come on over to this page and follow the guides that they have listed here. 
Real quick before we go on, have you guys heard of Bellis before watching this video? Simply type a yes down below if you have and a no if you haven't. I'm always interested in your guys' feedback, so do that real quick before we move on. Right now we're going to get into actually how to mine Velas. First thing we're going to need is an actual wallet. Alright, so here's the wallets. Again, everything's down below. V18.1.3 Blockchain Barracuda. Now I put this on my AMD rig. I usually mine a lot of speculative stuff on my NVIDIA rig, but that's been acting up like crazy here lately. I've been trying to load an SSD on it, a new one, and for some reason it's just not going through. But that's neither here nor there. All right, so I have this on my AMD rig. There's the actual miner. We'll get into that in a sec. But the actual wallet, I went ahead and downloaded, I was scrolled all the way down right here, and downloaded the Windows 64.exec. Put it on my AMD rig, put it in its own folder like I normally do. Here's wallets, named it Bellis. All you have to do is double click right here. The wallet will pull up and install. And when it's done installing, it's pretty straightforward. This is what it's going to look like. So to mine, we're going to need a wallet address as usual. So you just go ahead and click on receive. You can name it whatever label you want. As you can see here, I named mine NVIDIA Rig Mining. So you just put whatever you want in there and click request payment. And when you do that, a window like this will pop up and there is your actual wallet address. So then you would just click copy address and you would be ready to go for the actual miner. So let me go ahead and minimize this real quick. Speaking of miners. Team Red Miner for the AMD rig and we have T-Rex Miner for the NVIDIA rig. Both of those BAT files will be down below, so you can just go ahead and copy those, paste them in a notepad file, and just edit the pool and the actual wallet address. So let me go ahead and pull up Miners right here. And as you can see, I went ahead and downloaded Team Red Miner, unzipped it, and called it Bellis right there. So if you go into there, I've already created, like I said, the own run BAT file. And this is what it's going to look like. So all you're going to have to do is change the actual pool you want, or you can just leave it right there mining at zpool.ca. But you're definitely going to want to change your actual wallet address, which is right there. And right here, .amd rig, that's your rig identifier. You can leave that blank if you want. I always like to name my rig so I can see them on the pool. Although the pool I'm mining with, it doesn't show up on it, but it's a pretty good practice to follow. So once you go ahead and get everything set up and ready to go as far as your pool, and wallet address, all you can do is click File, Save As. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it Run1.bat. Make sure it's a .bat, otherwise it won't work. And scroll down here a little bit. There's the file we just created, Run1.bat. Run so all you'd have to do is double click on that. And this is what the actual miner would look like up and mining. So speaking of pools, here I am on zpool.ca. You can see .63 pending, balance .20, so I'm pretty close, like right at one Velus right now, 0.139 paid. If you go ahead and go back over to here and pull up this, you can see that I was actually paid that right there. So this is a pool. Again, there's various pools you can use. Here we are in mining pool stats. Again, this will be down below. Velus Z pool, you got a hash pool right here. Not many people on that at all, really. 25 mega hash. But it's spread out, like I said, over six different algorithms, so you can choose whatever you want. So you've got a, a ASIC script miner, you can click on that. And then, of course, here's the different pools you can use for that. But I'm mining with my GPUs, so I'm going to use X16R. But again, whatever you're mining with out there, just choose the corresponding algorithm, whatever one you want, and go from there. So here we are. Velus is at about 11 cents right now. And if, so if you go over here on the right hand side, all time high, about 82 cents. So it's got some upside to it, a little bit upside, about an 8x upside. But again, you never know in the future with coin with such a low supply. So what can you expect to make mining Velus? 
Well, we got um, minor stat right here. Velus, this calculator has put whatever mega hash you're getting in on average. We go over to the pool right here, and you can see my average is right around 40 mega hash. Of course, I'm mining it on an AMD rig. You really want to use this algorithm on an NVIDIA. It's more friendly. So whatever your mega hash is, just go ahead and put the in here, your wattage, electricity costs, pool fee, etc. And click calculate. And as you can see, if I was mining and selling right now, I would be losing money, but I'm not mining and selling. This is not a coin you want to mine and sell right now. You just mine and hold. And that's what I do a lot with a lot of my speculative coin mining projects. I just mine and hold and wait for the next actual bull run, which I'm hoping is going to be right around the Bitcoin happening next year sometime. I think around next May. Probably a little bit after that. Hopefully all of these altcoins will actually go up and then I can start selling some of my bags off. At least that's the plan. All right, so right now I'm going to go ahead and head over to my website and pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Real quick before we get in and pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. It's about 22 hours now since I started mining Velas. Here I am on a pool, zpool.ca. As you can see, I've been paid about two right now. And I'm sitting with about 0.8 as far as a balance owed. So nearly three Velas in a 24-hour period on that AMD rig is not too bad. Again, we don't know what it's going to be in the future. But as far as an all-time high is concerned, that would be... A little over two dollars so take that for what it's worth just wanted to give you guys a real quick update all right let's head over to the website thecryptofish.com as usual be sure to subscribe here i send out an email every wednesday notifying you guys that the get to win video did come out i also update the site with my latest videos so let's go to the dashboard bitcoin fridays 12 6 2019 56 contestants 2476 total entries let me go ahead and click on manage giveaway. All right, so like I say every week, if you should not happen to win, don't worry about it. I do it every week. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel and also subscribe to the email list. So all I can do is click draw right here and it will pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. Good luck. All right, so we have Joe. Congratulations, Joe. Let me go ahead and confirm Joe as the winner. All right, so Joe has been confirmed. Joe, I'm going to go ahead and notify you now. All right, you should be receiving an email here shortly. Just respond back with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I will send you your winnings on over. Thanks for playing this week. Thanks, everyone, for playing this week. If you guys are interested in any more mining tutorials on various speculative coins to mine, I got well over 100 videos and different projects. Should be popping up here shortly. Any questions or comments, be sure to put them down below, and I will get back to you. Again, if this is your first time here, think of subscribing. Hit that notification bell. And if you like this video, hammer those likes. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.